Hello everyone and welcome back to the Forge Hub YouTube channel. This is Paints and in this video I'd like to showcase a burning cabin scene which was made by Raptor086. So this will mainly be a scripting tutorial but first I'll show you guys how the cabin was made and then I'll go over the scripting and how all of that works to actually make this cabin catch fire and burn down. So as you can see, Raptor has used glacier tree logs of different sizes to craft a makeshift log cabin. It really does look like a handcrafted log cabin, which aesthetically is very creative. But what's more interesting is a log cabin that slowly catches fire and burns down. Now bear with me because this is a pretty advanced scripting setup and will take a lot of explaining. It's important to note that this effect specifically stresses both the FX and scripting budget. But this example is intentionally highly detailed in both of those categories to show off just what you can do with scripting and effects. Because a lot of these scripts are tied to the spawning of objects, the fire and cabin must first spawn and despawn at the beginning of the match. This usually doesn't take more than a few seconds, but since there are a lot of scripts, it can take up to 45 seconds. To make sure the cabin has spawned and the fire has despawned, the initial timer that allows the cabin burning to begin is set to 60 seconds. Ideally, in a scenario scaled down smaller and with less total scripts, this timer would be set to 13 seconds, which is the length of the intro cinematic. By the time the players spawn into the map, the objects that you want to burn down would have already spawned, despawned, and spawned again. The cabin and fire despawns at the very start of the game due to the script on the final pig. This will also happen at the end of the cabin burning to simulate the aftermath of the fire. So as you can see, after everything has spawned in, to the one side of the cabin there is a red explosive barrel. This is what triggers the cabin to burn down. So for testing purposes, you can set this barrel to respawn and forge, but in an actual custom game, you would most likely set the respawn option on the barrel to not respawn, unless you wanted the effect to repeat. When the red barrel is destroyed, a message is sent to spawn the first fire set. When the first fire set spawns, a message is sent to despawn the first pig. Now these pigs are basically in charge of timing the sets of fire as they spawn and despawn. So after the first pig despawns, it will spawn in 5 seconds, which sends a message to the second set of fire. When the second set of fire spawns, a message is sent to despawn the first pig. And once again, the pig will spawn back in 5 seconds, which triggers the third set of fire. This cycle continues for the next 10 pigs, gradually setting fire to the cabin, until the last set of fire which despawns the final pig. The final pig also respawns after 5 seconds, which again sends a message to despawn the cabin, the trees, and all of the sets of fire. It also spawns some smoke and rubble to emulate the aftermath of the fire. Although it is possible to gradually despawn the cabin as it burns, this particular map did not have the scripting budget to pull that off. So now that we have a basic understanding of how this works, let's go ahead and take a look at the script so you guys can pull this off too. Each log that is part of the cabin has two scripts. For script 1, the condition is on message received, the channel is Zulu, and the action is to despawn. For script 2, the condition is on message received, the channel is whiskey, and the action is to spawn. This makes testing and forge much easier and quicker because the cabin is tied to a yellow barrel outside of the map where when you shoot it, it spawns the entire cabin. The script on the yellow barrel has a condition of on destroyed despawn and the action is to despawn channel whiskey. The red barrel, which is what starts the chain of fire, has a script of on destroyed despawn message send alpha. This tells the first fire set to spawn in upon destroying it. There are a lot of different fire sets that spawn in as the cabin is burning, 
These fire sets have a total of 4 scripts on them. Scripts 1 and 4 are the same on every fire set, which despawns the fire sets both at the start of the game and when the entire cabin has burned down. Script 1 for each fire set is going to be on message received Zulu despawn, and script 4 for each fire set is going to be on message received Whiskey despawn. Scripts 2 and 3 are going to differ with each fire set, although it's not as complicated as it seems when you realize that scripts 2 and 3 are in a pattern of adding two channels to each set. So for example, the second script on the first fire set will be on message received alpha spawn, which triggers when you shoot the red barrel. And the third script will be on spawn message send bravo. The second fire set will be fairly identical, except like I say the channels go up by 2 on scripts 2 and 3. You can see that the second fire set has script 2's channel set to Charlie and script 3's channel set set to Delta. This pattern continues for each fire set that spawns in, so Echo and Delta for the next one. So basically for each fire set that spawns in, a pig will despawn and then respawn 5 seconds later. These act as time triggers for the cabin to burn down slowly, with each fire set having that 5 second interval. When we look at the scripts on the first couple of pigs, you can see that they are communicating with the fire sets through their respective channels to create these intervals. The scripts for the first pig are on message received bravo despawn and on spawn message send charlie. The scripts for the second pig are almost the same but again we see each channel go up by 2. So the second pig will be on message received delta despawn and on spawn message send echo. This pattern continues until the last pig despawns and spawns 5 seconds later. At this point, the last pig sends a message to Zulu channel, so on spawn message send Zulu. This will despawn the cabin and spawn in the aftermath, rubble and smoke. Every piece of rubble or smoke effect has a script of on message received Zulu spawn, but to make sure the rubble and smoke does not spawn before the cabin burning, it also has a script of on message received whiskey despawn. That wraps up all the scripts you'll need to make this work. Um, I realize that this is a pretty advanced setup, so hopefully I explained everything thoroughly. If you guys run into any trouble, feel free to ask questions in the comments section, and I should be able to help you guys out. This has been Paint with the Forge Hub YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.